Hello there, welcome to Exit. I'm Kelsey Lee, and today you are going to do a full body workout that's incorporating a stability ball all the way around. Are you excited? Let's get started. So we're gonna grab our stability ball. If you don't have yours yet, press pause, go get it, and come back. All right, so here we are on our stability ball. We're gonna walk it out a little, and I actually have a, a pretty wide stance with my feet, if you can see one of them. They're not close together, okay? And all we're doing is bringing it up, so not even, this isn't a real traditional kickback, it's more like a leg lift. You can soften the knee and bend a little, you'll get more isolation at the top. Whatever your preference is. Nice and slow. Now make sure that you guys are using mind and muscle connection. Think about what you're working, so you can maximize the workout instead of just like flopping your legs around, which is super easy to do on a stability ball. Keep it up, really pull. Top of the glute and the hamstring, shortening, contracting, and bringing your leg up. And we're gonna hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't give up. Just hang in there. A few more seconds. You got it. Last two, one. Drop it down and switch. Pull it up. Good work. Use the shoulders, your hands to stabilize you. Stability ball is taking up most of your weight, so you're not gonna have a lot of um, pressure through your triceps. Good work. Keep pulling it up. Remember after this, we're gonna hold it and squeeze for about 10 seconds, okay? And hold, hold, hold. Just 10 seconds of your life, you can do it. Keep going. Let's go three, two, one more. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna roll it up. You do not have to do it like that. Just how I did it. So bring it in, pull this up, and we are gonna go over to our wall. If you don't have a wall, just imagine you do. Doing like this. I just gave it away, we're doing some squats. So I'm going over here, putting it in the small of your back. If you get it too high, it's gonna go over your head. And start right here. Watch the knees. Bring your feet out just enough so that knee is pretty much directly over your ankle, okay? Take it nice and slow. Don't let your knees go out. We're not trying to do a plie, and we don't want to sink them in, all right? Bring in the front of the core, so activate the front of your abs right here. Your obliques will stabilize you from kind of going back and forth. A few more seconds of these, and we're gonna switch it up, and I know you're gonna love it. Okay, call that good, and we are gonna switch it up. Challenge your body a little, so hang in there with me. We are gonna challenge our bodies into a pistol squat. If you want to, you can do a one-legged squat like this, okay? But really force your ball back into the wall for stability. You're not gonna go anywhere. Good work. Jump on in. Not a giant range of motion. Or you're gonna stress out your knee, so don't go too deep. Good work. You can bring this leg down, just don't let it touch the floor and switch. Nice work. Okay, remember, bring this one in. It's gonna be inverted a little bit. Your toe probably won't be straight. Give you more stability through the ankle. There you go. Let me readjust. So not too deep. You're gonna feel it through the quad, and that's when you're gonna come back up. Press back into the wall. You got it. Last one. Nice job, not so bad, huh? You can do those on your own. So see, your body can do more than you thought. We're gonna take this same stability ball. This is gonna take some effort. If I fall down, don't make fun of me, okay? So we're gonna start by squeezing like a, like a kind of a half hug here on the stability ball. And we're gonna bring it up into a frog jump. Make sense? Kind of crazy. You seriously have to squeeze. So like a static fly almost, okay? Here we go. Keep going. Okay, do you feel that? <laughs> Forearms and the wrist. What's difficult is kicking back. Good work. Stabilize through the chest and the shoulders. You're not really activating triceps here because our palms are facing each other. Last one. Whew. 
good work, we did it. I didn't fall over, what do you know? Okay, so this one, let's kind of engage your shoulders. What do you think about that? Bring it all the way up and back down. Granted, this stability ball doesn't weigh a whole lot. Still mobilizes our upper body. Feeling okay over there? Draw in the front of the core. Good work. Almost all the way up. You're doing great. Guess what, my shoe's untied. Keep going. Mind and muscle connection here too. If you feel your shoulder is the front delt, shortening, contracting, bringing the ball up. Keep it going. You feeling it yet? Really sit into that. Notice I have a pretty wide stance over here right now. You can totally do the same. Let's go for three more of these. Three, two, and uno mas. And call that good. Feel okay? Take a break if you need to. And I'm gonna tie my shoe. Now that I've done that, we're gonna have to get our heart rates back up. Are you excited? <laughs> okay, so stability ball. Roll it out. Oh my goodness, I'm getting closer. All right, so wide. Wide stance with your arms. These were your feet. It'd be more than shoulder width apart. Bring it down. You doing okay? I know you can do it. Jump on in with me. Exhale on the way up. Get your face about three to five inches off the ground. Good work. Keep going. Shoulders, triceps, chest, core. Whew. Nice job. Three, two, one more. Whew. And roll it back. Whee! We did that, didn't we? We seriously just did. So keep moving forward. Okay, this next one, I'm gonna face this way. So we're gonna roll it out again. This makes sense. And you're gonna think I'm crazy. If you haven't done this before, if you have, you're gonna love it. And just bring it up. Make sense? There you go. So you wanna make sure that your toes are staying connected to the ball the entire time. Your behind is gonna go up in the air. And as you crunch the knees in, you're gonna get a ton of isolation. And every little part of your core is working right now to stabilize you. Don't put too much pressure with your knees on the ball. You wanna take up some of that pressure with your hands all the way through the shoulders. Keep the toes engaged on the ball. Keep going. Good work. Really pull it in. You got it. This one will make you sweat. Pull it up. If anything's hurting, just take a little break. Crunch it in, you got it. Keep those toes on the ball. One more. Pull it in. Perfect. And you can step off the ball like that instead of rolling it up like a maniac like I did before. All right, so here we are in this position. You know what we're doing? We're gonna switch it up. Grab the ball with your feet. Hands are gonna go up here. And we're just gonna pass it off. Make sense? If any of this stuff is super confusing to you, leave us a video comment. We wanna hear from you. It's nice and slow. By all means, you can do this with a smaller stability ball or even medicine ball if you like. Good work. Keep it going. Watch that spine. If your back is coming off the ground, just take a break. <laughs> Good job. Whew. Exhale on the way up. We're almost done with these. Whew. One more.
10 more. And bring it down. Perfect. Okay, come back. Don't leave. So, guess what? You're done with today's workout and you just burned about 100 calories. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, we didn't even do that much. But here's the thing. When you utilize a stability ball, your whole body is engaged to stabilize you. So instead of just isolating one muscle, you're kind of using your whole body. So you're burning more calories. Does that make sense? So good work. Trust the old stability ball. Keep this stuff up. Subscribe to us here on Exit. Leave video comments. We love hearing from you guys. And follow me on Twitter at KelseyLee.com.